सो वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ द गेमिंग एन आर की दिस इज वेन रशीश एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट स्प्लिंटर सेल कन्विक्शन सो स्प्लिंटर सेल कन्विक्शन केम आउट इन दर ट्वेंटी टेन ऑलमोस्ट लाइक इलेवन ईयर्स फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन एंड आई वॉज प्लेइंग दिस गेम सम डेज बैक एंड आई थॉट टू माई सेल्फ वाई नॉट डू अ रेट्रोस्पेक्टिव रिव्यू एंड सी वॉट was the main reason this game failed back in the day because splinter cell conviction was a universally hated title among all the splinter cell uh, games uh, by most gamers and game reviewers so uh, let's look or rather discuss some of the main reasons for Uh, the downfall of splinter cell um, via splinter cell conviction so if you are new to the splinter cell franchise uh, then uh, i must tell you that splinter cell is a stealth based game almost comparable to the metal gear solid series from konami and uh, the main character is sam fisher and uh, that's all you need to know and without further ado let's get into the main reasons why splinter cell conviction failed as a stand alone splinter cell game the first reason that splinter cell mainly failed was the mission design or uh, the gameplay in which every mission played uh, as a whole splinter cell focused mostly on stealth and completing missions through multiple paths means the game gives you more than one path to complete a mission and the game revolved mostly around stealth if you played the previous splinter cell games the previous splinter cell games focused only on stealth and nothing else except for maybe in uh, some areas of double agent but mostly splinter cell as a game focused on stealth and the level design was made in such a way that you can take multiple parts to complete an objective or a mission in splinter cell conviction the game forces you to go through a single path and there's no other alternative part in completing that objective one of the uh, f- uh, bad things about this game is that uh, uh, in mission 4 of splinter cell conviction you have to literally play uh, the mission via a third person perspective like a third person action shooter uh, if you remember the mission 4 of splinter cell conviction consisted of vic costa saving sam fisher and uh, the mission uh, you have to play uh, as vic costa uh, through uh, a third person perspective with no stealth and only you will be uh, you are provided a ak47 for the mission so you can see from we moved from stealth to something rather a generic third person shooter like uh, spec ops the line so uh, the difference was uh, substantial even not only that mission but most of the uh, later missions uh, in the game uh, the game forces you to follow a single path and uh, if you want even uh, when i was playing the game i forced myself to complete each and every mission stealthily but i couldn't because in one of those missions i had to use my weapons my lethal weapons actually including smokes flashbangs grenades everything because the game was designed in such a manner that you cannot complete a mission without using those weapons and that what made splinter cell conviction fail Uh, the most because uh, the stealth aspect of the game was totally cut down and the main aspect that was action adventure which was promoted as a third pers- uh, third person uh, perspective shooter 
so that what made the game uh, so much uh, you know uh, Uh, unpopular among all the splinter cell fans and uh, therefore it was also heavily downvoted or uh, bad reviews were uh, showered upon it uh, by all the uh, game reviewers and uh, the game um, gamers themselves one of the other reasons why i think uh, splinter cell conviction failed uh, miserably is uh, the way each level was designed because um, if you look at the other splinter cell games the maps were so so much vast means uh, the map design was made in such a manner that each mission was uh, typically very large because you had to uh, take multiple paths and uh, there were multiple environments you have to pass Uh, through and the levels were uh, massive to be honest compared to splinter cell uh, compared to that splinter cell conviction uh, levels or mission segments were very small and uh, that what made the game uh, very much easy i would say and much more uh, you know uh, uh, much less exciting to play uh, as over because uh, if we compare splinter cell conviction to chaos theory chaos theory had a great replayability factor in it because uh, uh, because of the uh, way you can complete the game uh, and the uh, levels were designed in such a manner that each and every time you play it you will uh, discover something new but with splinter cell conviction the levels were designed in such a manner the uh, each time you play it you will uh, encounter the same thing so once you complete splinter cell conviction there's no reason for you to continue again playing it so that what made uh, that was uh, the two re- main reasons why splinter cell conviction failed as a game apart from that uh, one of the uh, last reasons and this is almost like the least priority reason and uh, that was the way sam fisher was portrayed in the game because uh, the story uh, didn't make much sense because uh, the story in splinter cell conviction was more about sam's personal family rather than saving the world so uh, it rather made uh, very little sense about the story Uh, because uh, the story part was t- of the game was not that strong not that the storyline was not that strong not that uh, im- uh, exciting to learn and uh, compared to splinter cell chaos theory or even a double agent which had a great storyline because you had to play double agent uh, both as a spy and as a rogue so uh splinter cell conviction uh, failed not only from the gameplay perspective but also from the storyline perspective but uh, one thing's for sure uh, when i look back at the game uh, in 2021 i actually enjoyed playing splinter cell conviction after all these years because when i remember playing splinter cell conviction for the first time i didn't like it that much but uh for the last 8 years there has been no splinter cell game releases on the market the steel uh, game genre was almost like wiped out because uh, metal gear solid uh, phantom pain was the last release in 2013 and uh, from there on there has been no major steel game releases in the market so splinter cell conviction uh, splinter cell franchise from ubisoft was the only shining point and the blacklist was the last release from ubisoft and since uh, no splinter cell game have been released in the last 8 years i actually quite enjoyed playing splinter cell conviction because uh, i don't know because of the nostalgia factor uh, it can be but uh, i actually loved playing the game uh, compared to what uh, i thought i would because uh, in the first uh, because in 2010 or 2011 i think when i first played the game 
uh, I uh, didn't enjoy it that much but uh, apart from that uh, the game holds up pretty much well as you can see in the, his uh, gameplay video the graphic looks astonishing and the new engine that uh, Ubisoft used uh, compared to double agent and chaos theory uh, and the game uh, back in the day the game didn't run that much smooth in my mission because uh, of its uh, higher system requirements but now now uh, due to advanced graphics cards and processors and uh, ram uh, the game runs flawlessly and the graphics holds up pretty much well including all the effects and uh, and all and uh, the, i have to say the voice acting in uh, splinter cell conviction is spot on almost comparable to uh, splinter cell uh, chaos theory and uh, splinter cell uh, double agent uh, so apart from that uh, i think i have enjoyed splinter cell conviction but i would say this game uh, the lasting impressions of this game were not that much great uh, the only uh, the blacklist was a great game because i loved it and i still love it but i would rank this game uh, at the uh, i would rank number one as chaos theory number two as blacklist and i would rank this uh, splinter cell conviction as my number three or four splinter, uh, splinter cell game releases especially because of the graphics and, and, and also the nostalgia factor and the way uh, the game was uh, you know uh, game played out i didn't hate it uh, i surely hated back in, hated it back in the day but now i don't hate it because uh, because uh, we uh, because the gamers didn't get any splinter cell releases in the last couple of years and that has definitely played a major role in my decision for not uh, hating this game currently so i hope i really request that uh, ubisoft releases a new splinter cell uh, game uh, it's been um, it's been almost a decade since the last splinter cell game uh, came out and i really wish that ubisoft releases another one apart from that uh, it's uh, uh, that's all uh, i hope you liked the video and if you did please do like uh, the video and subscribe to my channel uh, as uh, i make uh, different kinds of gaming content opinions you know first impressions walkthroughs on indies and uh, some retro games as well like this so uh, uh, and uh, uh, hope you have a great time and thank you for watching